The RA copyright TI is a less common but flexible opening that controls the center with the knight before committing a pawn. NF6 develops the knight toward the center and controls the d5 and e4 squares. C4 controls the important d5 square. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. And c3 develops the knight to its best square, further fighting for control of d5. This creates a threat to win a pawn. This prepares the bishop for development. This pins a knight to the king. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. Recaptures. This adds pressure by pinning a knight. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. It is the last book move. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is good. This prepares the bishop for development. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. This threatens to win a pawn. It is good. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is best. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. This kicks an opposing bishop. It is best. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is excellent. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is good. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. It is excellent. This ignores an opportunity to develop a queen off its starting square. It is a mistake. It is a miss. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This overlooks a better way to offer an equal trade of pieces. It is an inaccuracy. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is good. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is good. This is an equal trade. It is best. This overlooks a better way to recapture a piece. It is an inaccuracy. This threatens to reveal an attack on a queen. It is an inaccuracy. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is excellent. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a queen. It is an inaccuracy. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. This is an equal trade. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is forced. One of the best moves. It is excellent. Right on target. It is best. This protects the attacked pawn. It is good. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. This overlooks an opportunity to capture a knight that was threatening to win material. It is an inaccuracy. There was only one good move there. It is a mistake. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. It is best. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is best. This misses an opportunity to capture a knight that was threatening to win material. It is a mistake. There was only one good move in that position. It is a misbalanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. Both players navigated the middle game well.